Okay, welcome back. Uh, the second part of this uh, fire extinguisher that I'm going to draw is the, the neck on the portion, on the upper portion of this bottle. Um, right here on this, uh, I have it shown on my uh, drawing right here is uh, a half inch in overall height. And I guess that would be like overall exposure. This is the point where I tell my students to, um, you guys can, you know, kind of make up your own look to it. So if you wanted to make it a little taller, or a little shorter, you can absolutely do that. Um, it has a uh, diameter of 1.638 and it has a 5 8 or a 0.625 hole in the middle. So I can do this pretty quick. I can just go ahead and draw a circle. This will be a nice short video at a diameter of 1.638 and a hole at 0.625 with an extrusion distance of 0.5. Okay. Um, you can, if you were trying to in your other drawing, sometimes these um, images, like where I snipped this image, sometimes it will not, it'll want to flash away when you're orbiting, or if you get into a, uh, a perspective view, but in this case, it looks like it's doing just fine. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I'm going to as well just go here, and then this is a situation where I'm going to have to use um, what I call like a cookie cutter to punch through the object. Okay, so I'll do a circle and I'm going to keep call that diameter <clears throat> and I'll say 1.638. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is that's all I need to do so far. And so now I can go to a perspective view, southwest isometric, and I can extrude this. Um, so I'm going to go find extrude up here. The last time I used anything was revolved, so that's staying up by default. I'm just going to go ahead and extrude this, and I'll call it 0.5 inches. Okay, that'll be easy enough. And this is where I'm going to have to, this might be easier to do in a 2D wireframe. Um, I am going to go ahead and put this on my, not on my object lines layer, but... Actually, it might be easier to place it on the tank just like it is. So what I'm going to do is create a, another circle or a cylinder. I can place it right on top of the tank right now. If I'm in like this is, see how it's giving me a devil of a time here trying to find those. Every time I come in, it's like turning off the center point for some reason. Okay, so that's going to be a diameter of, I thought it was like points. Oh, that's what it is. So the image blanks out when you're in an active command. Okay, so if I look at this, it was 0.625. So I can say uh, diameter 0.625. And then I can just go ahead and extrude this. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to the tank and place it first. And then I'm going to take this and put put it through uh, both things. Okay, uh, Because if I punch the hole right now, let's go back to here. If I punch, if I use this, if I subtract this yellow punch or cookie cutter out of this neck on the bottle right now, there will be a hole in here, but there will be no hole in here. I want the hole to go all the way through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, or I'm going to move this rather, from that center point, and I'm going to place it right there. That stick became handy that I had used previously as well. <clears throat> and now what I'm going to do is just move it. And this is where I told students, you know, they can have creative license in terms of how much exposure do they think should be um, above this. So I'm going to move it. It was 0.5. I'll move it down, I don't know, 0.25 or something. Okay. And so you can see now this is completely aligned. Okay. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take my little punch would be easier if I put a wireframe on again. Select this, and I'm going to move it from its center point, and I'm going to go find the upper center point of that that neck right there. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and move it down, and I can move it down at any distance I want. 
to move it down. So that will be just fine right there. So now you can see it's penetrating all the way through into the tank. And if it's easier for you to see, click subtract. Now in this case, I got to click both the top of the tank and the neck of the bottle because I want this to pop through both of them. So I select both of them. I right click, select my yellow punch or cookie cutter, and then right click. And if I go down here, I should have now a perfect uh, hole in my bottle. And now I can see into the inside of it. That is the next part. The next part I'm going to come back to is what's called the valve. Um, and it's a very easy drawing to do. And it looks like this. This would be the top view of it. And there is a um, extrusion. And I want to just see if I can type in fire extinguisher. <clears throat> I'm not seeing the part that I want. Um, it's sort of like this part in here uh, that the two handles connect to. And it's where the... Um, I'll see if I can come up with a better example for the next uh, video for my students. But it's this part that both handles uh, connect into that uh, where the the uh, pin or the like the handle when it gets pushed down, it moves a uh, a gate inside that valve. So, all right, thanks.